Welcome to Art with Miss Allen, with me, Miss Allen. On this channel, we will be drawing and coloring, cutting and gluing, painting, and doing a lot of other fun art activities that we can make together at home. I cannot wait to make art with you. Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today we could learn about an artist named Alma Thomas, who is an African American artist and a painter who I think is one of the best painters of the 20th century. She has so much to show us and if you would like to learn more about her there is a video down in the description um, of this video that I've linked where you can learn about her and her lifestyle. I'm going to talk about her very quickly but I'm not going to focus too much on her history or how she got to be where she is. So if you would like to learn more about Alma Thomas Click the link down in the description. She was an African-American painter who was an art teacher and who really came into her own painting style once she retired from teaching after 38 years. This painting next to her, entitled Spring Flowers, is just one of her many paintings that she is recognized for today. Her painting style is considered abstract, but is inspired by nature and by other things that she sees around her. While Alma Thomas is a painter, I am inspired by her artwork in a way that we're going to use collage. Now collage is using paper or different materials, a lot of times it's paper, is using paper to build a picture instead of using paint or drawing. So we have a couple of things for our supplies today. I have a pair of scissors. You don't need scissors. You can just rip the paper if you want to. That will be just as um, effective. You need a piece of paper that's gonna be your base. This is what I'm gonna build my collage on. You need glue of some kind. I have a glue stick, but you can use white glue. And then you need whatever color pieces of paper that you want for your picture. Let's get started. So I have my base paper here. And this paper can be any color you want it to be. All it's going to do is it's going to serve as what I'm going to glue my collage down onto. So all of that color paper I had earlier, I've been cutting um, while I've been preparing for this. So I have a square, and this is going to be my first shape. I'm gonna make a circle out of this, and that's gonna be my starting point in the middle. And then I've also cut a lot of skinny paper strips that I'm gonna to tear to make my design. Now, you can cut these with your scissors to make them, um, to make our pieces for the gluing part, but I really liked how I could see Alma Thomas's brush strokes on hers, and so I thought I could kind of mimic that with torn paper rather than cut paper. So I might even do that with my circle. I've never, I've, to be honest, I didn't even think about that until just now, but I'm gonna actually tear my paper to make my circle as well. Now, that was pretty difficult for me, um, especially coming from someone who really likes to have nice clean lines, but I'm going to go with it. We're going to start with a circle. If you don't want this weird teared edge thing going on, you can always use your handy dandy scissors. Make sure if you're using scissors, you're asking a parent about it, or a grown up, or an older sibling can help you. But I'm going to glue my wobbly circle down to the middle of my paper. And I don't need a whole bunch of glue, but just somewhere in the middle of your paper. And you can turn your paper either way. I have it turned wide so you can all see it. But once I have a starting point, the rest of my paper is going to make um, rings around my main circle. And this is called a concentric circle, where you start in the middle and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We talked a little bit about concentric circles on another video that was, um, oh man, Kandinsky, who did circles like this with paint too. 
uh, Alma Thomas uses concentric circles as well. But I'm going to prep this paper that I have, this blue paper, by tearing some pieces. And I'm not tearing too much. I'm just kind of going to the edge and pulling. So I tore about half. I'm going to put the other half away and save it for later if I want to use this color again, which it's a very pretty blue color, so I think I'm going to. But once I get one color going around, or one color torn, I'm going to start gluing these down in a circular pattern going around my piece. Now, if you want to make smaller pieces for your paper, you can. Not a big deal, but just you, that's up to you how small you want these pieces to be. I will say smaller pieces are harder to glue. So if you're using smaller pieces, make sure that you're being careful not to make a super huge mess with your glue. So once you have a full circle that's touching an edge, like this side I'm touching big time, this side I might have a, just a little bit left, it doesn't matter. Once you have a full circle touching the edge, you'll use one color to fill in the rest of the paper. Now that can be the same as the last color you have, or that can be a completely different color. I'm going to use yellow because I haven't repeated that color and I'm gonna use it to kind of make this picture really super bright. But you can use whatever color you want. You don't have to use your middle color. You don't even have to use one of these colors. If you wanted to use black or white or brown or whatever color you wanted that you had on hand, you could make that color the background. and it's done oh I had a piece fall out right when I picked it up I'm gonna put that back on that's why you use glue sticks children so when stuff like that happens you pop it right back on it it's not a big deal but let's try that again so we have this beautiful piece of artwork now and I will tell you it took me forever so if you need a break during this lesson take one go outside, go read a book, go play a video game if it's okay with your parents. But take a break, come back to it. You don't have to finish all of this all at one time. But I think if you take your time and you make sure that you are doing the best you can, it's gonna look great, just like mine. I hope you guys had fun and I'll talk to you later. Bye.